What are they saying in Berlin? In Berlin, they're saying Obama's Middle East policy is in ruins. I'll read you three little quotes from three newspapers. The center-right newspaper Frankfurter Alemana Zeitung writes this. The deeply held American belief that all you have to do is liberate people from serfdom and dictatorship and then democracy and a market economy will develop more or less on their own, burned to ash in the trial by fire of Iraq. Deeply ingrained cultural attitudes do not change simply because one political regime replaces another. In the long process of building a democratic society, they say, it is not possible to simply skip stages. Don't tell that to Barry Obama. Don't tell that to Hillary Clinton. Don't tell that to any of the fools in the Occupy movement who are on MSNBC and CNN. What does the center-left daily, Sudesha Zeitung writes, Sudesha Zeitung, what do they say over there in the, the center-left daily, Sudush, Su, sorry, Suddeutsche Zeitung, what do they write? Suddeutsche, that's the southern German Zeitung, what do they write? Since the Arab Spring broke out, there have been many difficult moments in the relationship between America and the Arab nations. America hardly has influence in the region any longer and now sees itself confronted with anti-American sentiment in places where it no longer controls the dictators. Now, that's a left-wing newspaper which has self-respect and intellectuals who understand the world. They're not talking about Romney. They're not talking about a stupid movie on the, on the Internet. They're talking about what actually happened, which is that Obama's idiotic policies blew up in his academic face. What does the conservative Die Welt write in Germany? Quote, U.S. President Barack Obama's Middle East policy is in ruins. Obama was naive to believe that one only needed to adopt a new tone and show more respect in order to dispel deep-seated reservations about the free world. One thing is clear. If jihadists believe they can attack American installations and kill an ambassador on the anniversary of September 11th, then America's deterrent power has declined considerably for a superpower is not enough just to want to be loved. You have to scare the bad guys to keep them in check. How do you like that one? There are other comments coming out of Europe that although they vary from left wing to right wing, they have a dignity to them. They have an intellect to them. Most importantly, they have a reality ring to them. 